let's get on let's get on with the unbox i've got some more really really neat uh old ass toys this one is this one's 30 years old 31 actually 31 it's older than me and it is a amazers it's the it's it's a it's a maze puzzle toy I, I think it's i think it's really cool i'm gonna open it up in just a second but uh this this is its original packaging from when it, it would presumably be at a store i guess and you can take the amazer challenge exciting double decker maze magic with a twist solve the maze puzzle and win and uh because this is really just kind of a one trick pony there's there's only two puzzles you get with it it's like oh test your test your wits beat the clock and your opponent which i guess you would have to either own two of them or just take turns uh, this is this is the Amazer Challenge. It tells you how you can take the thing apart. Uh, it's, there's a lot more pieces involved with this thing than I originally thought when I picked it up in the store. I thought it was just like one thing that you roll the ball around in, and that's that's what. But whatever. It's got two sides to it. All the components. It tells you how to disassemble it. How it tells you how to play it if it's not self-explanatory enough. And then how how to reset it, which is if you get the ball stuck somewhere or you lose or you can't figure out how to get it back to start to start over. You can just take it apart and put the ball. You, this, this, this is the, this is the tool assisted mode. This is no clip. This is cheat mode. We're not gonna do cheat mode. Uh, I, I've noticed that if you kind of look at it from certain angles, it looks like it's just like an infinity swastika, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, it's a really cool thing. This like this part rotates and it starts way down here, and you can see it kind of says like it kind of says start right here, and. Uh, basically, what you do is, as you turn the little thing, these these lines, these shapes, these walls, they move the ball. Fuck, they move the ball around. Okay, that's not the right way. Fuck. Okay, I'm not turning it. Um, let me just this. Okay, there we go. And so you you move it along with that, and the finish line is actually right here, which is it's right near the start. You'd be thinking, well, couldn't I just turn this a certain way? And go backwards doesn't work that way the amazer thought of it they read your fucking mind they won't let you do that i don't think i'm going to be able to beat the amazer live on stream it'd be nice if i could but it's a little bit a little bit too amazing for me it got stuck <laughs> this is not amazing at all uh I, there it goes there it goes i've only made it like here's the here's the start here's where i am this is as far as i've made it i get just a little all I gotta do is zoom a zoom zoom and a boom boom. Okay, hang on, I got this one. I honestly, I think I fucked this up. I don't know how. <laughs> what I was trying to do. Okay, let me just walk you through what I was trying to do because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna consider this a, I'm gonna consider this a write off. I was trying to get the ball into right here, right? So all I was trying to do was get it to go up and around, and then come, you know, bing bong downtown right here. And that would bring it close enough where I could get it past this little arc. But then there's like all this fucking nightmare over here, this nightmare trifecta. I don't even I don't even know. So we're <laughs> follow the reset instructions. It's not a bad idea. So that takes the that takes this cap off. I think. Yeah, there we oh there we go. Okay. That that part's supposed to come off. So that goes over there. Remove the transparent upper upper deck by inserting oh, there we okay yeah that's good and now see now if i wanted to now this is something really cool is uh is you can take it and if you flip it over there's an entirely new puzzle on the back with uh an even even worse pattern that i'm sure my camera is just never going to be able to focus on here i'll put it on the finish line and then through creative editing i'm just going to make it look like oh i beat it there we go look at that New world record, new new PB. So I'm gonna get twin galaxies on the phone here. And okay, now let's just let's just pretend. All right, and look, there you go. That there it is. Now it's in the finish line. So we just saw it stop the clock. That's a new that's a new personal best. Uh, <laughs> the speed run. That's th this 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 trick that I just did right here is tool assisted only. That's the Amazer. This was uh, wh who was the manufacturer? This was this was 1986 by. Uh, Tilton Toys. So you can tell by their company name, they really they were just they were waiting for this Amazer just to just to, to take off because that's what they named their company after. 
So I, I thought this was pretty cool. I found this at the thrift store, and it's not very often that you see something this old survive with its original packaging. So I wanted to. I figured I would give it a good home, and uh, <laughs> I figured I'd give it a good home and maybe maybe show it off to you guys because uh, I'm I'm certainly uh, I'm certainly proud of it. So uh, that's the Amazer. I figured. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, it could have been. It could have been put together a little bit better, but considering it's 31 years old, I'm not sure what type of mass production factories existed 30 years ago, but it's not too bad. And I, I don't know what the hell the ball got hung up on. I don't see why it would not have been turning, but that's the way it was. But I figured um, with that out of the way, we can spin the prize wheel real quick and get some trading cards. Yeah.